So we want to get back now to a story that we began telling you about before the break. With school out, you might wonder what becomes of the March for Our Lives led by students across the country worried about all the school shootings, including folks right here in Jacksonville. Our Shelby Danielson wanted to find out. For most teens, school letting out for the summer means hanging out with their friends at the movie theater, in the park on the water, but now one group is changing that up. They'll be here at the Duval County Courthouse advocating for change. It's the dog days of summer for some, for others, it's back to work. For situations like this where there isn't justice because nothing is done, we're standing in front of a, a place that's supposed to give justice and doesn't. Atlantic Coast High School grads Mia Cleary and Adrena Forrest are making their summer plans. We're going to have a rally and we're going to have student speakers. After that, we are going to proceed to lie down on the lawn of the Duval County Courthouse. They're dedicating their time to the March for Our Lives movement, starting with an event Tuesday, the two-year anniversary of Pulse. They say dozens will lie down on these grounds for 12 minutes. It's 720 seconds, which is around the number of people that have died in mass shootings since Pulse. They want it to send a message. It's still disappointing that the people around us aren't as passionate about this anymore as we are and have let the conversation die a little bit. They say school shootings have changed the way they see the world. We've sat in our classrooms before and kind of pictured if someone were to come in, you know, what would you do? Where would you go? They both describe triggers still that instantly feel like threats. Especially when the fire alarm goes off, your first thought isn't, oh, a fire, it's a shooting. Their goal, keep this movement alive so they can save lives. It's a real problem and a real fear of teachers as well. Right now, they are working on becoming the official Students Demand Action Organization of Northeast Florida, and they're hoping to pass on the baton to new voices as this crisis, they say, continues. This is a very real issue that can happen to really anyone at any time. I don't really think that it's possible for the conversation and for this movement to officially ever fizzle out because there's still so much going on and there's still so much to be done. The national movement will come to Jacksonville at the end of July to focus on voter registration. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.